I'm ready. <laughs> These are, but yeah, all of it. Yeah. And welcome back everybody. Good morning, good evening, good night. Whatever time it is you guys are watching this. I ended up painting the interior off camera and assembling some of it of Tonka because I didn't feel like you wanted to see me install taillights and then run a little bit of wiring and reassembling the tailgate, but he's outside. We'll take a look at him in a second, but we have some OEM parts plus some custom made parts to throw on. Alright guys, so here's our pedal assembly. I trim blacked it, cleaned it all up, got all the rust off. So, this is a brand new pad. Here's the part number. Here's the old one, it's pretty worn out, so we're just going to chuck that out. I'll throw that away in a second, but there's the part number again. Maybe next time I order something from Tri-State, I'll throw another one in the cart because I did not realize the brake one was a little worn out, but... I'm not really worried about that. It's not even falling off yet, so it might stay like that. I don't know if people generally use a gasket for the brake booster delete, but here is the OEM gasket. There's the part number. Here is our plate. I'll show you that in a second. And then here is our Willwood Brake Master. Comes with stuff so you could just do all sorts of combinations, whatever you would need. But ours will be set up exactly like this. I'll throw one of these clamps on here. And then here's the part number. Right here. And then, I don't have a part number on this, but this Brake Master Clevis was made by Hush Performance. I ordered this right, out, right off their website. I don't know what part number it is or anything like that. But I guess the threading on these, the little... Uh, I guess the threaded rods, paws, are different than the OEM ones. Before we get to that stuff though, let's take the trash bag and all the tape and stuff off the inside of Tonka. And we'll actually be able to see in there too. The inside of Tonka, all one color. Don't look too bad. But I put this in here so I don't scratch up the interior, at least not yet. Got some fresh hardware. That's probably the ugliest one, but it'll be okay. It's just holding the seat down. At least it's sturdy. Downstar hardware. Functional. I might actually take this little grommet out and put the hardware back so it looks pretty. And you can just see inside. Yes, it's a race car, but whenever people come and see the car, I think that'd be a cool thing to look at. You know, just have this gas cap open. And you can see the suspension. See a color scheme? A little hint. At least we'll do that for now. Forgot to mention, I also dressed up the trunk. Pedal assembly in, that looks so good. But you can tell the difference between the brand new OEM pedal pad versus the old worn out one, all dirty, worn out. This one has quite a bit of tread on it. But the clutch pedal is held by this 112. 
right here and then it would be the clutch master but we'll install that in a different vlog and this pedal assembly right here it will be the brake master slash brake booster delete and then there's a 12 right here and then a stud that comes out and then you put it on that stud pause found a really pretty 12 so i'd rather put this one instead of that rusty one right here this one's brake clean that one's not fixed it right there all right guys so let's start putting together the brake booster delete this plate is made by Frofab. Really great work. And we'll start installing this brake boost delete. Use anti-seize. Which of course we have ours right here. Purchased from O'Reilly's. I'm trying to get the focus. Don't focus on me. Whatever. And then here is our custom plate. I am learning, or somewhat kind of learning, how to slow down a little bit. I like getting stuff done, and I, I need to start breaking the vlogs into sections, but whenever I have time, I just want to keep working. So that's my problem. Like... After this vlog, I'm going to want to keep doing more, but I'm going to force myself to go inside, start planning other things, and clean up and stuff like that. But here is the custom plate. You see me? It says Tate Tonka right here, and then Great Wind. Because I guess on Lakota, it's like some sort of Indian, or Native American, I should say. Uh, it means great wind or great spirit, great wind spirit, stuff like that. And that's what Tonka is named after. Our dog Tonka. And man, it's just such a great piece of work. And then right here. It says on the top. Frofab actually made... He, he's a machinist and he made the brake booster delete and stuff like that for the AK-47. So I happened to hit him up, and we were able to work something out. Pause. And this will go right on here. As so, but I'll take this boot off so we don't rip it. But, uh, yeah, he's good on pricing, guys, stuff like that. I won't tell you the pricing of what I paid because different designs and stuff like that. Like, if you message him on Instagram, he'll work with you, and then you'll get what you want. But, uh, I don't want to say a price because different designs may cost a different amount and stuff like that. Different, it just all sorts of factors into it. So, I don't want to say a pricing. Man, that looks so good. And then, if you guys go to him, it'd be different. You guys, you'd be like, Slayer, man, blah, 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 but... The quality of the work is worth it. All right, guys. So I got our anti seize on. Got the brake master on. The counter flush bolts go on the back side. Then the nuts go on the front side. Okay. After struggling for a little bit, I finally got. I can't find my razor. I think I took it inside the house. But here is the piece. That I ordered from Hush Performance. I thought I'd have their logo on it at least, but I guess it doesn't. Come on. Trotter pin. Yeah, let's put it in the bag so we don't lose it. And it threads right on, thankfully. Thankfully. But I guess the clevises are different between the OEM one and the other one. I'm not sure where I will need it locked, but I'll just keep it flush with the clevis. And let's go right there for now. But this is looking good. 
Not for the tank. Lubricate this a little bit. You can use your spit. Pause. Just gonna go ahead and get to go on. There we go. Get this squared up. And then tighten this worm clamp. Tank is on. Got it all assembled. Turns out the OEM gasket is taller. I'm not sure if I want to cut this, so guess we're not just guess we're not gonna use a gasket. Of course the dogs wanna start freaking out in the neighborhood. But so I throw these in. I'll throw the anti seeds on these bolts. These counter flush bolts whenever I go inside the car. Tricky. Good thing that we're not using this. All right, guys, finally installed. I love it. It looks so good. Nice, compact. And then whenever we fill it up, we'll just take the cowl off, access it right there. Here's the inside. You can see some of the anises around this area. All installed. And I'll conclude this video everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, this is what I do. I have videos of me teaching knowledge of what I know or what I'm learning. And yeah, just Come along and watch the build. Come hang out. If you're free during lunch, maybe watch one of my videos. Hang out with me and watch what we're doing with Tonka. But let me know if you guys like the plate. Let me know if you guys are going to get a custom plate. Please, please, please. If you guys are ever going to ask for something, lead with respect. If you want to hit up Anthony Afrofab, just say, you know, good afternoon or something like that. But stay blessed, stay slammed, most importantly, keep gunning. Love you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time.